Welcome to Ethics of Baseball, presented by Gallagher. I'm Jim Deshays, former pitcher, current television analyst for the Chicago Cubs, alongside Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg. We're going to discuss various topics of baseball and the ethical debates that ensue. So let's talk a little bit about pitching inside um, for effect, for intimidation, uh, the pitcher's point of view, the hitter's point of view. Uh, things have changed a lot, Ryan, over the years. Um, let's turn the clock back to your playing days um, and just talk a little bit about your viewpoint um, as an active player, how pitchers pitched you, what you considered kosher, what was crossing a line, how you might react and how you might expect your pitchers to react on your behalf. Yeah, J.D., first of all, I think that's one of the biggest changes in the game that I see, just being a hitter and now watching the game today. Back in my day, like we like to say, uh, it was, a, it was a, a, a way to play the game uh, for various reasons. It was a way to cool down a hitter. It was a way to send a message. It was a way to be aggressive. And uh, oftentimes, uh, throughout a season, it happened numerous times where it created uh, bench-clearing brawls. But it was, it was a way to pitch. It was legal. Uh, the pitcher had the baseball, and he could do whatever he wanted to with that baseball. So all in all, J.D., there wasn't too many at-bats where I actually stepped up to home plate, not having in the back of my mind that I could get a pitch up and in at any time. Was there a guy or two that you went into a game against that you were most concerned about? Well, uh, Nolan Ryan was, uh, was the ultimate intimidator as far as I was concerned, right-handed against a right-handed hitter, 100 miles an hour. But he also had a curveball that had to start basically behind my neck to be a strike. So anything that started inside that I was much more comfortable, curveball was inside corner, comfortable to hang in there, was now broke out to be a ball. So uh, he, had, he had those two pitches, but he also would, uh, would send a purpose pitch to me oftentimes just off of the plate, inside, very aggressive, very firm pitch somewhere within that game, usually in the first couple at-bats, to try so and open to up the outside let, pitch. So you wouldn't get too comfortable. Exactly. So, uh, you know, when, when you got done playing, you went on to manage, and now you're managing in a different era, and you're dealing with younger kids in the minor leagues and then with the Phillies. So how, did that all change? Um, you know, did, did you have conversations with your coaches and your staff in the front office about how, you know, was it, was it, did it feel the same in the dugout in terms of how people reacted to those situations or has the game evolved where that's not as much of an issue? Well, I got into managing in the minor leagues 2007 and I'd been watching the games. Uh, I'd already been out of the game for 10 years. So watching the games and just watching how the game had changed as far as pitching inside, as far as uh, sending messages or, or protecting players, there was, there was a difference there. So I, I felt like I had to make an adjustment there in a lot of regards. We, we, we talked about it in a way, if, it was, if you ever, ever needed to send a message or uh, get, a, get a, a, a hitter off the plate a little bit or protect a, a hitter, it always happened from the waist down for me in, in my sure. book. And sometimes that's just a pitch. That's a pitch to, to down at the knees, right at the hitter moves his feet. You know, that's a pitch. And now that opens up the outside part of the plate. So that's a purpose there. If, it, if, if a match is needed to be delivered, it was from the waist down. Looking at the numbers, a hit by pitch has really escalated. I think, you know, I think a lot of baseball fans thought that the old days was when guys were getting hit by the pitches. Um, it happens much more frequently now. And I think for that very reason, guys aren't anticipating it. Maybe they're diving out to cover the outside part of the plate. So the whole pitcher-hitter dynamic has changed a little bit. It really has changed, and uh, it's, it's unfortunate because it can be very dangerous in today's game for the fact that you're talking about. These hitters do not look, anticipate that pitch, even look for that pitch uh, for any reason within a ball game. Very dangerous situation for the hitters today. Thanks for joining us for Ethics of Baseball, presented by Gallagher.